<coughs> and we're live. Hello, everybody. This is Avenger Advent. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Starting a bit late today because I had to get uh, my chiropractor appointment that had to be rescheduled. Because, like, normally I have those uh, every four weeks on Thursdays, but IRL soft uh, got in the way uh, last week, so it had to be uh, rescheduled to today. And not only does it take 15 minutes to get to just drive there or drive back, also it's not just me getting to the chiropractor, it's also my dad and my brother. So, yeah, and like, the appointment was scheduled at 5.30 instead of the usual 5, so, yeah, I like, I like, we got back home, we're like, five after so I had to just like set a full 15 minute delay to have time to prepare and everything but let's get back into it And there's a few no more notorious monsters that I found. Got this guy over here. Yeah, this guy who is just like, why was it here? Then I saw, oh, level 40. Okay. Then I fully explored just like in this upper area and found just like another one up here. I didn't explore uh, like this region at all because, well, it's a full-on region, and we're kind of like filling in a few extra zones. But also, there is a quest over here that I intentionally like avoided triggering. We're all now level 42. Also, I ended up not having a chance to explore Colony 11. Congrats to you for your courage. Uh, greatest work here. Congratulations. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Possibilities. What's this? Everyone's having a grand old time. Mm. Yeah, I guess you don't know about this. Today's Harvest Day. It only happens once a month. What's Harvest Day? It's an evaluation day, basically. Every month, the colony evaluates soldiers on their cooperation, boldness, and results. It's a day where the soldiers who contribute the most to the colony get a little appreciation. Can I be straight with you? In my book, evaluations are pretty much the exact opposite of fun. It's not the evaluation everyone was looking forward to. Chosen soldiers get to ask for anything they want. What, like, anything? Like, cured army sirloin? Some seafoam soap? Anything as long as it's technically possible. Yeah, so anything within reason. Sparks alive, that sounds wicked. And a very good incentive. Next we have... Isaka, a Sequoia team. Is Isaka here? You don't think she's still in the intel analysis suite, do you? She might be, yeah? Probably clean forgot today was the day. I did tell her in advance. So I go get her? You know, uh, you can keep the show going, yeah? Oh, I couldn't ask you to go through all the trouble. We don't mind. You just keep doing your job. Well, you're insisting. Thank you so much. Give this to her? Harvest Day Tiara? We're gonna have to give it to her in person? Sequoia's team is really busy at the moment. I wonder if there's something going on with them. No, uh, they won't mind, I'm sure. Just tell them I sent you. Alright, we'll go. Harvest Day. We have some new names registered. So that's the state of affairs. Okay, yep. Actually, 
one thing I want to make sure of quick. It's vital to keep a record of events. <laughs> yes, I, I accidentally uh, triggered the uh, like intro scene for like that seek, uh, area up there I haven't been to at all. So we're just going to show that off in the event theater quick. Yeah, I think it's down here. Yeah, the uh, uh, Lace Highway. I triggered this uh, without meaning to while doing some exploration and cleanup. I yeah, look at those trees. Cause like I look at those trees, it reminds me of the uh, swamp area from Xenoblade uh, One. Cause like that area at night was the most gorgeous spot in the game. I do want to explore it, but. Uh, Later on, because I actually want to make a story progression tonight. Okay. I didn't actually get the chance to explore here because, like, I, like, did all the exploring I wanted in just, like, the desert. And, like, okay, that set us, we planned to do this, uh, actually, earlier today, but then other things got in the way. Colony 11. They're as skilled as the rumors say. Still just a bunch of crazies, though. Yeah, from 40 to 36. Dang it. I'm gonna just set this just so I know who to uh, not talk to. The Zorid's unit assembled at the West Gate. Repeat, assemble at the West Gate! Roger. Half the units into different rings of each. Are those different from class units up to the usual business? You mean they're the training pet, then yeah. You mean a training pet, they're really into it, huh? I did uh, was I ended up just selling a lot of just like older accessories, but I realized that uh, one there's like I have two complaints about the accessories in this game, and it's all to do with their like sortability. The first is when I go to my accessories uh, here, like to pick them, it's 
only looks at them through just like order of taste. I can't sort them like this. So we're just like, like earliest ones at the bottom, newest ones at the top. No way to sort them at all to try to find something specific. It is incredibly annoying. And the second thing is out of all the ways to sort chronological names and rarity favorites, there's no ability way to sort by ability. Because like you have ones that just like have similar abilities to other ones, but just like are different. There's like a whole second set of tiers. Yeah, because it's like I end up selling just like the item the dark orb. Which gives you like a boost when like someone is KO'd. Because we have these eraser orbs, which are like the same thing but better. Because like this like level one, rarity one eraser orb had more damage than my higher quality dark orb. So I ended up selling the base one. But, like, and some of these are just like radically different apart. So if I could sort these by ability, that would be really good for our knowing which ones to get rid of for like oh I have just like three different I have like two different sets of them they give me bonus damage against aquatic enemies let me get rid of all my lower tier ones so I can just get rid of them they could just be radically different here so yeah but two frustrating things about my inability to sort my accessories how I want them yeah, these I sort them, but there was this like straight up uh, buy ability, I'm gonna do that in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. We need to time this right. On it. <laughs> this game will Might of well course definitely be getting post-launch support. Yep. I already have just like three waves of something in the, the uh, expansion pass. Oh. Just get all like the free stuff. Mm -hmm. Mr. New Hero there. But I do remember in Xenoblade 2, as like, while well, they did also have an expansion pass that had waves of content, uh, they also had a lot of free waves of stuff as well. So, like, I guess, like, actually, like, double check out who you were. What's that nice? What do you think? Can you try and nick some food from over there? You don't want to do that, trust me. That's easily to dispatch. They don't play games. Got some useful intel after that. So that's the state of affairs. We need to time this right. On it! Well, I do think, like, free and paid content came out at the same time, so... All right. I hope that's the same thing here, where we have just, like, different updates. Just, like, as paid content comes out, there's also, like, free stuff, maybe some quality of life, because it's, like... Everyone? Get some rest. Give me more accept, uh, accessory sorting options, please. Oh, there we go. CP boost. Oh, what do we have here? Mild game stew. I'm feeling energized already. Mild sizzle fizzle stew. We should try this right away. Oh yeah, I got. I pick up these topics. It's best we talk this through. Pokandria came up with the Collectopedia cards, right? They said that, uh, she got it implemented by a console. It's a, I'm a bit surprised she managed to get approval for something like that. I suppose there are all sorts, even among the consoles. There are some, like Chaos Colony 4, that treat the soldiers like tools. Others, like Colony Oda, allow the comp commanders to exercise their judgment. Still, so, bottom line is, there could be no Collectopedia cards for Alexandria. I just have to wonder how she managed to persuade her console to sign off on it. Alexandria's gift. Makes me scared to think what depths lie behind that smile. Oh, 
Well, I have to be at that canteen. Ooh. I just wanted to confirm. Hey, Todd. Can I say your blade's awesome? Oh yeah, it's all—it's nifty as all spark. No, 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 how much of your praise, please? You're making me queasy. If you use enough of the mondo, could you get them to carry heavy stuff for you? Since they're so tiny, can you use them on spying enemies without them knowing? Ooh, now I've heard of dreaming big. For enough mondo, there's nothing we can't do. I bet. Now you're letting your minds run away with you. There are limits to how many mondo I can control and to the range. Oh, for real? Well, that's a shame. Yeah, bit of an anti-climax. Aw, uh, I'm feeling let down now. That said, nothing's impossible. But I truly, when I truly apply myself, the Mondo's capabilities are limitless. Nice one, Tyon. I knew you had it in you, my guy. You're the best, Tyon. My hero. Yeah, just, just leave it to me. <laughs> See? Okay. He knows they won't let him take this back, does he? Let's just Let's consider what we know. As Orn guy, pretty sure he was first on the scene when we tangled to Colony 11. So Orn's unit makes up the main force of Colony 11. They're a vanguard comprised of shock troopers. In battle, they specialize in breaking through the enemy vanguard and wrecking havoc among the enemy forces. Wait, did I forget to mute the TV? Yeah, this paranoid about weird things. Sheesh, that sounds about right. Sounds like a bunch of people who, uh, just like a sheriff. Even them alone is pretty much the worst thing we can do. We should probably talk to them as soon as we can. This hit they gather at the west gate, right? That sounds right. Uh, we better head out. Warrior's pride. This might get complicated. What sort of group is Easel's unit? They're more of a rearguard unit. They fire from a distance to support the front line. Seems like the Colony 11's canteen is also under their control. The canteen? How come? Who knows? I just hear that Ezo's unit is usually there. So if we win them over, we get our pick of all the best food! Whoa, that'd be awesome! I can get behind that! Sometimes I'm jealous of the way you two think. No, seriously. Rules of the hunt. This might get complicated. Say the aid of the clad unit is the cornerstone of Colony 11's defense. I drove the enemy in so Zorn's unit can focus on attack and Eagle's unit can deliver support. And the bodies are also so evenly divided. They're, they're specialists in combat. Even if they're a rotten bunch, they're uh, silver rank elites. But you know, know almost nothing about the captain clad. He's always wearing a helmet. I wonder if everyone has ever seen his face. All we know is that he constantly tr uh, dr uh, drills his troops in training pits. Training pits? Like the plaza where we fought R. Apparently, that's what they call one of, the, one of those in Colony 11. I get it. Why don't we pay a visit? You might get lucky and bump into him. Indomitable. I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Oh. I just wanted to talk to her, not trigger the quest. Ah, I knew you'd come. Uh, you did? Okay, don't tell me you haven't heard all the rumors flying around about you. I see the Horboros rebels are making maneuvers to control Colony 11. Uh, when did all that start? How about it? Are you going to torture us to tell you we do what you want? That's a big fat nope. Come on, just take us to your boss. Sorry, he's us out on an errand of a private nature. Private, when did you go? That's, well, I probably could tell you. There's not something I'll do for free. I've got an awful feeling about this. Oh. He is Captain Quest of Visions. I need to hurry if I'm gonna get them to her. Our stores are empty at a very bad time. I mean kind of scumminated the kind of scumminators we have in Colony 11 are pretty greedy have pretty greedy appetites. Alright. So yeah, can you pick up 10 obsidian berries and monster mangoes each? Man, that's a lot. It's all fruit? Captain Easel's favorite. She's a major stickler for sweet stuff. Whatever, so if we bring that or what you need, you'll take us to Easel? Of course. Good luck now. We have some new names registered. I do actually uh, want to go back here quick and just 
trigger uh, the quest. Just, just like in my quest log. Still, I must say, I really love my new chair. Everyone, get some rest. Let's consider what we know. Better in the party. We can swap her out later. So there's something about the Colony 4 resource problem that I've been thinking about. Yeah, because it's like the two inflow verbs I needed to pick this up are both of them talking about delivering colonies to Colony 4, or delivering supplies to Colony 4. Alexandria, why did you help? That's a bit of a rude question. Honey 4 is an ally. They've been released from their flame clock. I don't need an excuse to help an ally, do I? Yes, I understand you're sharing resources with them. What I'm trying to say is... How does the Agnian colony know so much about the resource shortages of a Vessi one? That's what you were going to say? That's what I was wondering too. Haha, <laughs> there's no putting anything past you. It's basically easy to come by if you know how. And I always stay up to date. <sighs> yeah, Alexandria probably got her title of craft maiden through just like, because she pays attention to the logistics. You're not saying you have an inside man, are you? I wouldn't have that much of a, it wouldn't take that much of a risk. I'm doing this, I'm just doing the same as you. Here, this is how. Collectopedia card. Told you, didn't I? I came up with them. Do you think I would only see my own army's information? Wait, oh wait! You're saying that you leaked secret Agnes tech to get Kevis to use it as well? Huh. At the time, I just thought we got really lucky. All, all logs are fully dig up any intel? I have to say I'm impressed. The important part comes after that. While analyzing the flow of resources, I realized that this war is almost perfectly balanced. Almost like it doesn't want to end. Yeah, an endless circle. Like an endless cycle, which is to say, there's someone orchestrating the war from behind the scenes. If you think about the rules, you have to realize that they're closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. Your words, Alexandria, this is what you're talking about, isn't it? You worked out to that much, but didn't try to blow the whistle, did you? What else could I do? What could anybody have done, even had they known? And Ouroboros appeared, the world's enemy. Yeah, because, like, we do have ability to destroy the world. The world that the consoles have created and have been running. We are enemies to their world. And the enemy of one's enemy is one's friend, right? I'm glad you understand. Hope you're friendly with your uh, you're friendly with your actions as well as your words. Cold as ever. Okay, how about this? Ooh, I'll show you the storehouse, the heart of Colony Iota itself. Take whatever supplies you need and use them as you will. Fair? So we have final say over resource distribution? Well, let's we discuss the particulars of storehouse management with Shell, but yes. Appreciate sentiment, but it wouldn't feel right. Whoops, already pinged her. Already? She doesn't have much spare time, so you better get hustling. Storehouse is a bit hard to give directions to, so just, first just head for Taurus Hollow. Talk to Reese at the entrance and I'll let you in. Enemies and allies. Oh. Don't you think it's about time for a meal? Judging by those supplies, I would expect Philly to be there. I am ever your ally. Yeah, no 
doesn't actually trigger any more quest points. You know, I kind of hope that, like, getting into the castle starts Chapter 5. Because, like, like, our big confrontation is, uh, between our just... Huh? Is that... Kamaravi, Ethel, and then the, worry, uh, the double console. I feel like that should have been just like the end of the chapter. And after that, they just uh, enter just like this new region outside the castle. It feels like it feels like it should have been the perfect place. Start a new story chapter. Actually, draw attention to, you, but actually, the, uh, really do like uh, what you kind of want to point out is just looking at the characters' Ouroboros forms. You can actually uh, see how like they have just like black and white as their primary colors based on where they're from. See, all our Kevesians have black Ouroboroses, all of our Agnians have white Ouroboroses. This was a 
Nice fight! Rubber wood? What kind of place is this? Nice landing! You eater. Fight with focus! Stay on your toes! Divine for you! Ah, keep them coming! Fight over here! Appreciate it! Glitter free! Recharge! Get it! Overboard! Missing this one! Divine protection! No love lost! Yeah. See if we can keep this up. Fight with focus. Stay on your toes. Falcon! Eyes over here! Perfect time. I see you! Lift a streak! Yeah. I have it! Over four! Side one! Divine protection! We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. This was a nice find. A little detour over there to take. Now to ascend. Whoa! Ah, oh, just thunder. Gave me a jump. <sighs> I was ah, going to fight that dude! Whoop! Bye! Is this oh, sorry, careless sorry, my punishment? I am all the way back here! Crap! Falling, of course, counts as dying, and when you die, you go back to the latest landmark. I don't wish they had that distinction. Guys, get ready to fight! I'll draw the reinforcements! Oh, enemies! I'll hold them off! Here we are in the enemy. Hold tight! Progress. Okay, Poplar. Oh, is this like the rare thing?
Because of the sleepies, no. Back uh. here again. Ah. a landmark or something over there so I can just teleport over in case I fall off. Wish it was more just like a button for us to get on or something, not have to actually jump on it. when starting to climb. Yep. 
getting some more and more, so.
no, that was someone new. Next defender is an Agnian. For the simple fact that of the I got four out of five defender rolls. Three of those four are Kavesi.
offensive one, but yep. Energy grenade! So yeah, just like this you do need just like a like a one well, that lays down a field for this stuff. to unlock the job of another character. <laughs> Glare all you want. Oh, I didn't even see you up there. You're on the wall. Look forward to the day I know what the heck those are. 